a little bit about acute and chronic pain um there is a lot to cover i am going to try to break it down and i did try to use as little extra stuff as possible because i know that there's a lot to cover Here's a little key to help you re help remind you um, of different things as we're going through, whether it be if a drug is nephrotoxic or hepatotoxic, whether you should avoid it in pregnancy, um, cardiovascular toxicity, avoiding in little kiddos, and then if it has an FY on it, on it, it's not testable material. I always like to set a few ground rules. There's only one dosing I think you have to know, and that's specified in the lecture. You can listen to me. And these have these like little small videos and modules, or you could just read it. So if you are a better learner via reading, everything that I'm going to test you on, everything I'm going to talk about is in the module. Everything that I say, um, also testable, but I would not test you on something that's in one or the other. You will receive the common dosage forms and the conversion factors for MMEs and equipotent doses for exam purposes. So you do not need to memorize those. Exam questions are based off the objectives. They are primarily case-based. Um, I did try to highlight some of the most important points. STARS do denote that the drugs, that is a drug that is on your top 300 list. Um, I will test primarily on generic names. So let's go through our objectives here. First thing I want you guys to be able to do is classify the type of pain. So most likely what will happen is you will get a case. It will have descriptions of a person's pain. You have to say if it's acute or chronic, if it's um, neuropathic or uh, nociceptive, or if it has mild, mild, moderate, or acute level pains. You want to create pain management recommendations based on guideline approaches. As a part of that, you also want to make sure that you are providing appropriate therapy based on patient-specific factors. I want you guys to be able to collect information in order to treat patients with acute and chronic pain. A lot of that's going to fall around what we call the PQRSTs. We're going to calculate MMEs and do uh, opioid rotations or equipotent. This is something that people probably struggle with the most. And I would highly suggest you coming into class being able to do those or having questions. And then using Virginia state laws to prescribe opioids.